Vietnam, a country I wanted to visit just to eat, drink and be merry. And here I am taking my parents on their 70th birthday. A slight change of plan, but here we go. We were there just for five days of which two we would spend on a bus because of really poorly planned travel agent. But let's make the most of the remaining two and a half. Birthday, mommy. Thank you, Happy birthday. Are you excited so far? Yes, too much. Interview in the Kanamal and look. And we have attention. I've never done a family vacation before. I'm figuring it out. There are so many ins and outs to it. So, as soon as we landed in Hanoi, we freshened up and headed towards the lake for some lunch. It had to be far off course. I hopped on that flight just to have the soupy, noodly deliciousness and it delivered. Then we strolled around the weekend night market, thank God it was Saturday, filled with street artists and food and all of those traditional artifacts. It was a perfect way to kickstart our Vietnamese adventure, you guys. The place was filled with trinkets, souvenirs and most importantly, delicious street food. A sensory experience that immersed us in the heart of Hanoi's culture. Good morning, day two in Hanoi. Yeah, I woke up feeling pretty sick today, but we are going to roll with it. Um, 7.30 a.m., our tour guide is gonna come and Even wait. I'm sick. Yeah, I know, we are all kind of falling sick, but yeah, 7.30. Yeah, my family is sick, my full family. Yeah. I know, my full family is sick. Our adventure began early in the morning when our not-so-fun guide met us at the hotel. We boarded a comfortable coach and set off on a 110km journey through the beautiful Vietnamese countryside. Of the two major cities of Vietnam, Ho Chi Minh and Hanoi, Hanoi suffered the most during wars. Hence, Ho Chi Minh is the more developed city of the two, which I did not have a chance to visit anyway. Our first major destination was Hao Lu Ancient Citadel, a historical gem that transported us back in the time to the 17th century. Here we explored the Din King Temple and the Le King Temple, marveling at the rich history and intricate architecture. So, so, so beautiful, but I wish it wasn't as hot. It was a very captivating glimpse into Vietnam's past and we couldn't help but be awestruck by the grandeur of these ancient structures laced by the beautiful greenery and mountains at the horizon. By afternoon, we were obviously hungry and we were treated to mouth-watering lunch at a local restaurant. Now, the highlight of our day awaited us in the afternoon, you guys. A boat trip through Tam Kok, which means three caves. Oh my God, water caves, I've never done it. We took this really peaceful boat ride through a place that looked a lot like Halong Bay. It had tall cliffs and secret caves and the views were mesmerizing. I was really, really tired and grumpy from the previous day's flight and that really hot day. But this boat trip completely calmed me down and changed and reset my mood. There were calm streams and open fields all around us. Why, there were even small stone temples tucked away in the lush green land on the side. We felt the fresh air and it was so pretty that we couldn't resist taking lots and lots of photos, making so many memories. We engaged in Long and deep conversations, listened to the relaxing ripples of the water, smelled the fresh air and enjoyed the caves. This is my very first time in a water cave and it blew my mind. Later that day, the bus took us to the Dragon Mountain. I went for a trek right to the top of the mountain while my family relaxed with cups of delicious coconut coffee on the base. Now the mountain and its endless steps, steps cut out of deep, steep stones. They were pretty slippery from the rain when I visited, but I climbed up in my Kubanka dress all the way up to the top. Honestly, my tour agent did not inform us that we had a trek in the day. It was really poorly planned, so I was not prepared. But nevertheless, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed the hike up to the top of the mountain and the majestic, never-ending, infinity view of the virgin lush green lands sprawled across into the horizon. As the sun started to go down, we all got back on our bus and headed back to Hanoi. And that was day two. On to day three, we were booked on for a two-day cruise. 
We boarded the bus once again very very early in the day and we had another confusion with the hotel because of our travel agent guys. He was not good, let me tell you that. On our way, we were treated to picturesque views of the countryside, farmlands and scenic Red River Delta. I have never been on a cruise so I was really really excited. I was also really excited to take my parents on one. Mm, but my sister lost her phone on the bus which we later retrieved anyway while the boat cruised southeast through Halong Bay. We kept an eye out for the iconic landmarks like the fighting roosters and the finger islets. Gosh, it's so beautiful. Next, we explored the captivating Luan Cave which is the smallest cave in Halong Bay. We had two options here, going on an adventure in a kayak or relaxing in a bamboo boat rowed by a friendly local. My dad and I braved it out with a kayak. It took us about 15 minutes to understand each other's rhythm, but then it was so much fun. My mom, sister and my niece chose the safer bamboo boat to take in this beautiful view. Now our journey continued with a visit to the Titoy Island or as the locals call it the Titop Island. It is the most beautiful island in the Halong Bay area. Here we dipped in the ocean till we had to get back in the boat. You can also trek the mountain if you are not a beach person but we are very much beach people so we were in the water. As the sun began to set we headed back to the cruise ship for a memorable sunset party with the happy hour deals at the Crown Legend. Dinner was served under a starlit sky offering magical dining experience with expertly prepared dishes and when it was finally time to retire for the night it was amazing that we had our own room with our own washroom where we had freshened up earlier anyways and our own balcony with that view throughout the night oh my god it was just a, such an experience you guys such a beautiful experience now i felt really really sick the next day they had a lot of other plans so i uh, skipped all of that and stayed in bed and enjoyed the view from my room until it was time to check out once we were done with all of this, we got back to the harbour and they took us back to our hotel in Hanoi. Now sadly, it was time to bid farewell to this incredible journey. In our last night, even though it was raining cats and dogs and it was not fit for a party night, I dragged my family to the beer street because how could I head back without a visit to this bustling street, right? And there you have it, our short trip to Vietnam. It was a whirlwind of stunning landscape and exciting activities, losing phones and all of that. <laughs> I definitely have to make another visit to the country though. I got a lot of questions asking if it is baby friendly and old people friendly it definitely is so anyways don't forget to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more incredible travel experiences until next time keep exploring and making memories i love you Mwah.